Integra Technologies presents a new episode of Principles of Joint Integrity, where we will discuss cross-load loss factor. Second only to hydraulic nuts, bolt tensioning is the next fastest, safest, most accurate, and most reliable method of controlled bolting. Ideally, you perform 100% tensioning, where there is a bolt tensioner installed on every stud, and all are tensioned simultaneously. However, some joint configurations won't allow for 100% tensioning. In these cases, Integra's engineering group suggests 50% tensioning as the minimum. But with all tensioning procedures less than 100%, it is necessary to use multiple tightening pressures to compensate for load loss. All forms of bolting experience load loss, but unlike inferior methods such as torquing, where compensating for load loss will always be uncontrolled and inaccurate, there is a predictable load loss associated with tensioning. Tension bolts lose some load, but it is lost predictably and uniformly across the flange. When accounting for this load loss in 50% tensioning, Integra's engineering group will recommend two tightening pressures, referred to as pressure A and pressure B. These two pressures are necessary to compensate for the bolt load loss that occurs when a bolt is tensioned next to an already tensioned bolt. The already tensioned bolt loses load as load is applied to its adjacent bolt. To compensate for this predictable load loss, extra load is applied in the form of pump pressure A to the first bolts so that they relax down to the required load when pump pressure B is applied to the next bolts. Contact our engineering group today for help developing your bolt tensioning procedures.